Hello guys, welcome to Tech Me Devoted. Today in this video, uh, we will write a Java program to check whether two strings are anagram or not. So first, we should know what is anagram. If you if you uh, search in dictionary, then you will find uh, anagram means a word, phrase, or name formed by rearranging the letters of another. Uh, for example, keep and peak, or uh, earth and hurt. So these are basically anagrams. So in Java, two we will uh, we will uh, find whether the two strings are anagram or not. So two strings are called anagram if they contain same set of characters but in different order. Okay, uh, so for example, dormitory or dirty room. So these are the anagrams. So we will check. Uh, in uh, Java so there are actually different methods we can use uh, like uh, string builder iterative method and all but here I will use short and equals method uh, to write this program so we have three steps so first we check the length of the strings then we will short it then we will check equality of the strings using equals method so let's move to ID uh, there i will we will write the program so here is uh, here is our class anagram i have written this part uh, uh, taken from uh, input from user and just ca uh, we have captured this in str1 and str2 so here we'll write let's write the program so we will write a method okay uh, let's say stat public uh, method name suppose check for anagram it will take two argument string as one okay its written type is white So here we will write first what we should do suppose we uh, user uh, has given to uh, has provided two uh, strings and that strings contains something like uh, suppose it's like line or it contains spaces white spaces so first we should remove all the white spaces from a string okay so we will do let's write uh, string let's say first str and we will what we will do we will replace white space with this okay similarly we will do string okay now let's uh, let's set one take one variable boolean variable and we will uh, set the status let's say it is boolean status okay it will let's say true first okay now we will check the length in first step i already told you so we will check whether dot length not equals to length so if length is not equal to then obviously it won't be anagram so we will uh, set our status as false okay done now 
else now if length is same then what we have to do obviously length is same it doesn't mean that uh, the two strings are anagram only so we have to check it whether the letters are same or not okay so for this what we will do we will uh, convert string to first array okay so let's take one char array and let's uh, write first uh, first array okay let's better it will write first string array okay this equal to we know that how to convert this we have this string so dot to carry array we have already seen this in our previous example okay similarly we will write second so this will be second str okay so we converted a string to character array now now what we will do we uh, this here continue okay now what we have to do we have to sort it okay so we have discussed once in our previous uh, video that we have one utility method of arrays class that is sort so we can sort array uh, otherwise we we can write uh, method for sorting but we have already method for uh, utility method so we can use this okay so here what we will do we will sort both the array arrays dot see here sort method is there okay so array dot sort and now here what we will sort this one first similarly right sort second array also okay so second array is this one so so why we have done this because see first we check the length then we convert it to character array then again we have sorted it so if some uh, suppose the word is keep okay first we check the length then we convert it to array then we sort it then it will be same suppose keep and peak both are anagrams and we will sort it then it will be the strings will be equal that's why we have sorted it so we can directly check um, uh, status if this equals or not okay so we have a method dot uh, equals method we know this so we will write and equals is actually boolean method so we can write arrays and this is also in arrays class we can use this so we will write this one and this one okay so this return either true or false okay fine so let's now what we will do we will now we have to check whether the status is true or not so if status means if it is true then we will write this out we will print the whether it is anagram or not right so we will write mm, let's format it so it looks better so this s1 is our string then this okay this s1 and this s2 this one and s2 are anagrams okay if it is true then what we will do we will write these are 
are in a ramps okay else else we'll write this things only but in this case not a anagram okay fine now what we have to do we just need to call this method from here okay so we will call this and we'll pass this user input okay str1 and str2 so that's it we have done the coding part okay so let's format it hmm. so this is the program to check whether the two strings are anagram or not now what we will do we will run this program and check for output okay so here uh, console we have written enter two string we have to write uh, write two strings here so let's write earth and second one heart okay so earth and heart are anagram right so let's write something different uh, let's check for another string like uh, uh, silent right uh, silent uh, silent cat okay now another is right listen listen and silent are anagram act okay now this should be anagram so silent cat and listen act are anagram so let's check something which is, is not anagram like we know that uh, suppose a string uh, and uh, something like uh, m anything see uh, i have taken randomly okay so it is not anagram obviously although length is same but uh, word wise it is different okay so this is all about anagram and uh, this is actually frequent frequently asked uh, java program in interview so i hope you like it and uh, hope uh, if you have any doubt or you can comment in uh, me below and if you have any uh, topic in your mind then please comment me below so that i can make a video on that so guys thanks for watching uh, subscribe this channel to get updated with this kind of programs and various kind of technical things so okay guys bye bye